Windows 11 has a newly revamped start menu to make it look and work better for you. I'll show you how to customize it. Before we do that, let's take a quick tour and I'll show you what it looks like. To open it, left click the start menu button here on the taskbar. Here at the very top is the search field to search for apps, files, settings, and other items. Below that, it shows you the apps you have pinned to the start menu. Scrolling your mouse in this field will let you see all the apps that you have pinned. Or you can click the arrows here on the right to see all the pinned apps. To see all the apps installed on your computer, click All Apps. These are all in alphabetical order. To quickly find an app in the list, select any letter and click the first letter of the program that you're looking for. Let's go back. Below the pinned apps is the recommended section, which will show you recently opened files. And the bottom section here on the left includes your profile icon. When selecting it, it lets you change your account settings, lock your screen, sign out, and switch profiles. To the right is the power button. Here you can put your computer to sleep, shut it down, or restart it. Just like Windows 10, if you right click the start button, it'll open the context menu, sometimes referred to as the secret start menu. Here you can quickly access useful features and settings, such as the power options, Windows terminal, and task manager. The white elephant in the room is the controversial centering of the start menu and icons on the taskbar, just like Mac OS. For decades on Windows operating systems, these have been aligned to the left side. If you prefer the old layout, right click on the taskbar and select taskbar settings. Scroll down and select taskbar behaviors. I'll move this down here a little bit. For taskbar alignment, click the drop down list and select left. You'll now see that the start menu and other icons are here on the left side. For now, I'll switch this back to center and close out the window. To customize what is displayed to you in the Start menu, let's go into Settings. To open Settings, if you have it pinned to Start, select it. Or you could open it by right-clicking the Start button and selecting it from the list. Or by using the keyboard shortcut, Windows Key plus I. In the left pane, go to Personalization. Here on the right, select Start. If you turn these first two settings on, it'll show you your recently added and most used apps. You'll now see that they're visible in the Start menu by going to All Apps, and you'll see they're listed here at the top. I haven't added any new programs yet since upgrading from Windows 10, so none are listed. All I have listed here are the most used. Turning on the third setting listed here, it'll show you your recently opened items in the recommended section of the Start menu, Jump List, and File Explorer. If you switch this off, your recommended section will be empty, as you can see. I'll turn all three of these on. In the bottom section of the Start menu, you'll see that the power icon is hanging out by itself. Next to it, you can add other items to quickly access folders, features, and settings that might come in handy. In that same settings page we were just on, select Folders. You have several to choose from. Toggle on the items that you'd like to have appeared next to the power button. Let's go back to the Start menu. As you can see, those that were just enabled are now conveniently located to the left of the power icon. When you first launch the Start menu in Windows 11, you'll notice apps that have already been pinned for you by default, including some that are being promoted by Microsoft that have never been installed. To unpin any app, simply right-click the app and select Unpin from Start. I'll get rid of a few of these right now that I would never use. And never use that one either. While we're at it, let's get rid of these as well. On the flip side, if there's an app you would like to have pinned to your start menu, here in the pin section, go to All Apps. Find it in your list. I'm looking for Inkscape. When you find the app you'd like to add, right click on it and select Pin to Start. Let's go back and I'll scroll down and here it is. To move any pinned apps to a new location, left-click that app and drag it where you want it. If you have a pinned app you'd like to move to the top, for example, this one here at the bottom, simply right-click on that app and select Move to Top. Let's scroll back to the top, and here it is. To change the background color of the Start menu, let's go back to the Settings app. 
select personalization, and then colors. Scroll down the page and turn on show accent color on start and taskbar. Now just choose a color that you want from the choices above. Let's see how it looks. You may need to experiment with this to find the background color that works best for you. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. Feedback is always welcome in the comments, and we invite you to subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell to stay up to date with the latest on Windows 11, along with other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.